Hello everybody. In this video, we're going to look at natural responses of RL and RC circuits. So first look at first let's look at uh, RL circuits. So this is a situation given here. So we have an inductor and a resistor connected in parallel. Okay. Um, and the current from bottom to top in the inductor is IL of T. And we are also given that the initial condition that the initial current at time t equal to zero is i zero from bottom to top okay so now our task is to find okay so so this is the initial condition and if the circuit is left by itself how will the current change right so we want the current through the inductor as a function of time that is what we are after so let's start the, the derivation here so for the first thing I want to I want to do is write a KVL equation around that loop. Okay, so I'm going to start here, come back here, go clockwise, and I'm going to add up all the voltage drops and set that equal to zero. Okay, so the voltage drop as I go up here is uh, L times the derivative of the current. Okay, so the voltage drop is in the direction of the current, so that's why I have a positive sign here. Okay, so that's the voltage drop across the inductor plus the voltage drop in the resistor from top to bottom is i l times r i l of t times r and that is equal to zero so what i'm going to do now uh, what i'd be doing now is um, i'm sending this part to the right and l came to the bottom in the denominator and in this step, then I'm getting IL to the denominator here. So basically, the, I'm bringing all IL of T to one side. Okay. And I'm integrating on both sides. So from 0 to T on left and 0 to T on the right. I make a substitution U is equal to IL of T. Then that means the DU will be the derivative of IL of T times DT. So if I substitute that, notice that here, this is du and this is u. So the integrand will just become du over u. So that's what I have here. Integrand becomes du over u. And since I made this substitution, the limits uh, originally from 0 to t, originally from 0 to t, will change to i of 0 to i of t, because that's the substitution I'm making in the variables. Okay, and that is equal to is this is the same right hand side. So on the left hand side, the integral of du over u will be ln u, and after applying the limits, I get this. On the right hand side, uh, I have uh, integral. So r negative r l of t is just a constant. So it is basically integral of one. So that will be t, and after putting these limits, I get this this side. Okay, and so if log of the log of R, this fraction, log of this fraction is equal to negative R L R over L times T, then I of T would be equal to I of zero times E to the minus R L R over L T. Okay, and that's how I got this equation here. So I of T is equal to I of C initial current was I zero times E to the minus T over L over T over L over R. Okay. So this is this is what we are after. Now we found a i of t as a function of time, right? The current through the this should be i l, uh, i l, i l, and so on. Anyway, so the the in current through the inductor is the initial current times e to the minus t or l over r. Okay, and that means the uh, if the if this circuit here, the circuit like this. Initially, there was I zero. If it left, if it is left to itself, the current which started as zero exponentially decreases over time. Okay, so initially there will be a current I zero flowing through the resistor, and that current will drop off exponentially, and so it's a very fast drop off. Right? And L over R has a unit of seconds, and therefore L over R is called the time constant of the circuit. Okay, and L over R basically is telling us how fast the current is drawing off, is dropping off, okay? If L over R is very big, that means the time constant is very big, that means the current is dropping off slowly. If L over R is very small, time constant will be small, L, that means the current will be dropping off very fast, okay? All right, so that's basically 
uh, RL circuits. So now let's look at RC circuits. <clears throat> in RC circuits, now we have a capacitor and a resistor in parallel. Uh, we are given initial voltage across the capacitor and we want to find the voltage, how, the, how does the voltage evolve over time if this circuit is left to itself. Okay, and that's why we, you know, we call that the natural response of this circuit. I'll do the same thing again. Um, uh, I'll start here. I'll write a KVL loop. So starting here, ending here, going clockwise. And I'm basically summing up all the voltage drops and setting that to zero. Okay. So when I go in this direction, the volt, you know, since the voltage increases minus VC over T, so also, therefore the voltage drop is negative VC of T plus the drop on the right hand side to the resistor is I of T times R. Okay, so that is equal to zero. Now notice that I of T through the capacitor is in the opposite direction of the voltage drop. Therefore, I of T would be negative. I of T would be negative uh, C times the derivative of the voltage times R equal to zero. Again, I'm doing some manipulation here. I'm taking this to the right hand side. And over here, then I'm getting that to the denominator and this goes to the den denominator over there. So basically all this manipulation is to bring all the voltage uh, VC of T to one side. Okay, so then therefore uh, I can basically separate the variables on both sides and integrate. Okay, so and then I integrate from zero to T on both sides and make a similar substitution as RL circuits where this time I make a substitution as U equal to VC of T. This means TU will be equal to the derivative of VC of T times TT. Okay, so this whole thing here is TU and this is U. Okay, so I'm making the substitution here. Note that I'm also changing the limits accordingly. And on the right hand side, I have the same integral. Again, TU over U is LN and applying the limits is equal to negative T over RC. And this means VC of T would be my initial voltage times E to the minus T or RC. So again, if, I, if I'm taking the circuit here, R and there was initial voltage V0. What this says is that voltage drops off exponentially. Again, RC will have a uh, unit of seconds. Again, I, I, I would encourage you guys to verify that. Therefore, RC is called the time constant. Again, RC in this case will tell us how fast the voltage is drawing, dropping off. If RC is big, that means voltage is dropping off slowly. If RC is very small, that means voltage is dropping up very fast, okay? So that's basically about uh, RLs, circuits, and RC circuits, natural response, okay? So when, let's say whenever you're given a circuit where, let's say, the only components in there are a capacitor and bunch of resistors, then and you're asked to uh, calculate the uh, either the natural, res natural response of it, then you first calculate what is the initial condition then you see what is the time constant, and then you use this equation to write down the natural response. Similarly for RL circuits, you first figure out what is the time constant, then figure out what is the initial condition, and then write down the equation, okay? So that's about uh, the natural responses.